to everybody again that we are taking member comments tonight by email. The address is info at gva.com, so please send your comments in. GVA starts every meeting with a safety moment, and tonight we're talking about financial safety. Scammers are working overtime during the COVID pandemic. Scams are getting more sophisticated, coming via email, text, and telephone. Some seen as a Golden Valley employee, demanding money or threatening to cut off your power. How do you know if a call is legitimate? Well, here's a simple way to beat any scam using only a pencil. Let's take a look. It seems like every day I get emails and phone calls from scammers trying to steal my money. Oh look, here's a good one. A Nigerian prince wants to deposit $10 million in my bank account. Never heard that one before. The bad news is, scams are getting more sophisticated. The good news is, there's an easy way to beat any scam. All you need is a pencil. Oh, who could that be? Hello? This is Golden Valley Electric Company. According to our records, you are behind on your bills. If we do not receive payment by tonight, your power will be cut off. This guy is good. He's even got a 907 number, so it looks like he's calling from Fairbanks. Now it's time to get the pencil involved. Sir, can you please tell me how much do I owe? This is the only question you need to ask. Get an exact number in dollars and cents. May I have your credit card number and we'll take care of this over the phone? Don't give them any information. Just keep asking that same question. Sir, please tell me how much do I owe? I'm sorry, ma'am, but I don't have that information at this time. If they can't tell you how much you owe, hang up. It's definitely a scam. I apologize for the delay. Your balance due is $347.18. Once you have that figure, hang up. Bye-bye. Now, all you have to do is check your balance with Golden Valley. If the numbers don't match down to the penny, it's a scam. If you have the Golden Valley app on your phone, just click on view slash pay bill. And what do you know? My balance due is 128, not 347.18. Thus proving... <coughs> that the call was a scam. You can also check your balance on the GVEA website. Click the yellow My Account button to get started. And you can always call us at 452-1151. Our automated system offers payment information 24-7. Thank you for calling Golden Valley Electric Association. Or call Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, to speak to a real person. This is not a real person. It's a stock photo. If you get an email asking for money, the same strategy works, and you don't even need a pencil. Just compare the balance due in the email to your online balance. If they don't match, it's a scam. And by the way, never click on a link in a suspicious email. It will probably install spyware on your computer. Let's review. If someone who claims to be from GVEA asks you for money, 1. Don't give them any information or click on any links. 2. Ask them, how much do I owe? Write it down. 3. Check your balance with GVEA. If the numbers don't match, it's a scam. Good evening. My name is Monica Grassi and I am Golden Valley's Vice President of Member Services. Tonight, I will be providing you with an update on Golden Valley's efforts in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Golden Valley's senior management and key staff continue to meet daily to discuss national and state developments and respond to emerging issues. Golden Valley's actions are consistent with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommendations and the mandates issued by the Alaska Department of Health and Social Services. On March 18th,
Golden Valley closed its lobbies in the Fairbanks, Delta, and Inanna communities. We have also restricted non-essential travel and many of our employees are working from home. Staggered start times for our field crews have been implemented and we continue to hold meetings utilizing platforms such as GoToMeeting and Zoom to ensure proper social distancing. To date, none of our employees have tested positive for the COVID-19 virus and we aim to keep it that way. COVID-19 has had a huge impact not only on public health but also on jobs and the economy. We recognize that a lot of our members are struggling financially and Golden Valley is committed to helping our members through these challenging times. In mid-March, on a voluntary basis, Golden Valley temporarily suspended disconnection of residential electric service for non-payment and the assessment of late payment fees. Subsequently, the Alaska State Legislature passed Senate Bill 241, a measure that includes prohibiting utilities from shutting off service for residential members experiencing financial hardship related to the COVID-19 emergency. To qualify for the protections under SB 241, a residential member must provide a signed sworn copy of, a, of the COVID-19 moratorium certification, which is a sworn document attesting to your hardship, and provide a signed COVID-19 deferred payment agreement to Golden Valley. Both of these forms can be found on Golden Valley's website. If you are unable to access the forms via our website, please contact our Member Services Department at 452-1151, Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, and we'll make sure you receive copies. Copies of these forms are also available for pickup in the entryway of our Fairbanks lobby. Please understand that although there is a temporary suspension of disconnects, it does not relieve a residential member from their obligation to pay their bills. Therefore, it is important that you continue to make payments as able to minimize the impacts once this crisis is over. Some of you may ask, how can I do business with Golden Valley if the lobbies are closed? Well, the best way to do business with Golden Valley is from the comfort of your own home. Take a look. Hello? Oh, shoot. I forgot to pay the electric bill. Oh, I've got to get to Golden Valley before they close at five. No, you don't. Uh, I'm going to have to call you back. Are you your future self? You're in 2005. I'm from the 2020s. So why are you here? I've come to make your life easier. See, in my time, you can do almost all of your business with Golden Valley 24 hours a day without making a trip to the member service lobby. Shut up! Mm, nobody says that anymore. I can't remember. Does that laptop have Wi-Fi? I have Ethernet. Go to gvea.com and click on the yellow My Account button. Log in with your email address and password. Once you've signed in, you can pay your bill. And this graph shows you how much power you've used in a given month, week, or day. You can even zoom in and see your usage in 15-minute increments. The GVEA website even has an outage map that can show you if the power is off in a given area. That is so cool. Uh, oh, sorry. Do we still say cool? You can even carry GVEA with you. What is that? It's called a smart device. It's a pocket-sized computer. Oh, the kids are gonna beg you for one. Don't give in. So, where's the keyboard? <laughs> you work it with your fingertips. Touch the little Golden Valley icon. And you can view bills, past and present, pay your bill with a few taps, view your usage history in kilowatt hours or dollars, you can even send a secure message to GVEA member service. So, how much did this cost? The phone? It was expensive. But the app is free. 
It's a phone too? Yes, and speaking of phones, you can still call Golden Valley even after hours. Thank you for calling Golden Valley Electric Association. Member service representatives will take your call Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. Or you can use their automated phone system that's available 24-7. You can check your balance, pay your bill, update your phone contact, and report an outage. You need your account number to use the automated phone system. What if I'm going to pay by cash or check? Golden Valley has two bill pay kiosks in the entryway of the Fairbanks office and just outside the door of the Delta Junction office. The kiosks accept cash, check, and card payments, and you do need to have your account number with you. There are also drop boxes at the Fairbanks, Ninana, and Delta offices that accept checks 24-7. Well, I hope our little talk has been helpful. Can you tell me anything else about the future? Hmm. Have you ever heard of someone from Wasilla called Sarah Palin?